The doctrine of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, brothers and sisters, you need to establish is the following. Prophets and messengers are sinless, protected from sins, do not have the ability to sin, to transgress against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, protected from major sins, from minor sins, from behaving in a way that is disliked, known as khilaful awla. They are protected from all these types of things. Why? Because they are made models. Our beloved Prophet وسلم, is made a model for humanity to follow. If he makes mistakes, then humanity would make mistakes. This is why the perfection of Rasulullah theologically called Isma, the Isma of Rasulullah is established by rational proofs. Because if he committed any sin, it would be possible he would commit a lie. And if he commits a lie, every statement and every verse of the Quran, he says, I received from God would be a lie. There would be no meaning in him saying, I am a messenger of God or God sending a man with the possibility of him lying. That is the rational proof to the isma of prophets. So you need to establish this. Any other text that comes against this principle is mutashabih is mutashabih brothers we know mutashabih with the attributes of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but there is mutashabih with the attributes of the messengers mutashabih we don't know its meaning for sure sometimes we delve into its interpretation and we reach a final conclusion sometimes we submit to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for example wa'asa adamu rabbahu fagawa the translation for that in the English language would be very difficult because the ulama say Allah says Adam Asa, Asa disobeys. Adam Asa, Allah says we cannot say ourselves that indeed Adam committed ma'asiyah. It changed the word into another derivative, mushtaq, and tell that Adam did commit a an act of disobedience. No, we don't know because we don't know the meaning of Asa. We know it in Arabic. Asa is to disobey. But in this context, it is mutashabih. It's ambiguous because it is established that Adam is a prophet and messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is protected from sin. This is not my own opinion. This is the opinion of Imam Fakhruddin al-Razi and many other great scholars. The majority of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah believe in the isma of all prophets and messengers before prophethood, after prophethood, after they receive the message, and before they receive the message from major sins, minor sins, and from acting in a disliked way. And often, when people come across some of the hadith which indicate that Rasulullah made mistakes, Rasulullah never makes any mistake. Rasulullah never makes any mistake. He doesn't forget, he's made to forget in order to establish a certain ruling of the Sharia. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was shown to commit a mistake because people were witnessing miracles happening at his hand to confirm that he's a human being, not to confirm that he is uh, someone who can make mistakes, to confirm that he is a human being so that Arabs, especially the people around him who loved him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, believe that he's not God or God incarnate.